the oxygen which is available in the atmosphere we use it for burning right then we respire oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide right in this way we have we are returning the carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and as well as we are using oxygen and the third one is it is used in formation of oxides of nitrogen oxygen is returned to the atmosphere in only one major process that is photosynthesis photosynthesis is done by plants they take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen right so in only one way the atmosphere gets oxygen back and this forms the broad outline of the oxygen cycle in nature so this is that cycle of oxygen right though we usually think of oxygen as being necessary to life in the process of respiration it might be of interest to you to learn that some forms of life especially bacteria are poisoned by elemental oxygen what does this mean that most of the bacteria are poisoned means they die when they come in contact with oxygen okay in fact even the process of nitrogen fixing by bacteria does not take place in the presence of oxygen the bacteria which fix nitrogen okay they can do it only in absence of oxygen if there is oxygen present they can't fix the nitrogen right so oxygen is only necessary for respiration now let's learn about ozone layer elemental oxygen is normally found in the form of a diatomic molecule however in the upper reaches of the atmosphere a molecule containing three atoms of oxygen is found means there are three atoms in one molecule of oxygen and it forms a diatomic molecule it forms in the upper regions of the atmosphere this would mean a formula of o3 and this is called ozone this layer is called ozone layer unlike the normal diatomic molecule of oxygen ozone is poisonous and we are lucky that it is not stable nearer to the earth's surface it is poisonous and since it is far away from the earth surface we are lucky to have it far away but it performs an essential function where it is found what is the function it absorbs harmful radiations from the sun this prevents those harmful radiations from reaching the surface of the earth where they may damage many forms of life means if ultraviolet rays of the sun directly reach the atmosphere many living organisms may get burnt right because of the radiation so what does the ozone layer do it protects us as means all living organisms from the ultraviolet radiation of the sun recently it was discovered that this ozone layer was getting depleted means the thickness of the layer is getting thinner and thinner day by day various man made compounds like cfcs carbon compounds having both fluorine and chlorine which are very stable and not degraded by any biochemical biological process were found to persist in the atmosphere the carbon compounds which contain fluorine and chlorine 
दे आर वेरी स्टेबल एंड दे आर नॉट दे डू नॉट रिएक्ट विद एनी ऑफ द बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस दे आर स्टिल फाउंड इन द एटमोसफियर वंस दे रीच द ओजोन लेयर दे वुड रिएक्ट विद द ओजोन मॉलिक्यूल्स दिस रिजल्टेड इन अ रिडक्शन ऑफ द ओजोन लेयर एंड रिसेंटली दे हैव डिस्कवर्ड अ होल इन द ओजोन लेयर अब एंटार्टिका वट डज द रिएक्शन ऑफ द फ्लोरिन एंड क्लोरिन विच आर कंपाउंड ऑफ कार्बन वेन दे रिएक्ट विद द ओजोन मॉलिक्यूल्स वॉट हैपन्स इट रिजल्ट इन द रिडक्शन ऑफ द ओजोन लेयर राइट एंड रिसेंटली दे हैव डिस्कवर्ड दैट देर इज अ होल इन द ओजोन लेयर बाई विच नाउ द अल्ट्रावेलेट रेडिएशन ऑफ द सन्स रेज कम टू द अर्थ सर्फेस थ्रू दिस होल एंड दे मेल्ट द एंटार्टिका विच इज कवर्ड विथ स्नो इट इज डिफिकल्ट to imagine the consequences for life on earth if the ozone layer dwindles further but many people think that it would be better not to take chances if the ozone layer vanishes then life on earth will not be possible because of the ultraviolet radiation of the sun rays which will kill the living organisms now many worlds are working together on stopping further damage to the ozone layer right now with this we have completed the chapter number 14 okay the exercise is you solve it and send it by pdf on the whatsapp group Thanks for watching this video. Bye.